So if you can remember from another video, we were looking at rigging a re-anchor or re-belay through a hatch because we're looking to avoid the sharp edge of the hatch damage to our ropes. Big problem with re-belays is it's very difficult to rig for rescue. So you might be better with a double deviation. So loads have been said on double deviations, but in my mind, this is what a double deviation is for. So I'm going to open our hatch. Sharp scratch. Send me ropes down. Knots in the ends. Right, so see that they're long enough for the drop. So I'm rigged for rescue through two flows at that side. Tidy them up. Ready to go if needed. And then on this side, I'm going to put in my double deviation. So we've got loads of gear here, so I'm going to... I mean, it doesn't have to be this fancy, it just... It, it will make the rescue, you know, if you've got the gear, if you put pulleys in everywhere, it's just way more efficient when you start hauling stuff. So I'm putting my two rescue pulleys on, onto a double rigging plate. <clears throat> it's two nines. And then we just need to adjust that. And double up that carabiner. twist everything round so it's sat nicely and then when we get on that we're going to be nicely central over the hole and we've got lots of height to play with here so that if we do need to bring someone back up <clears throat> the reason I've gone long on that side is because I've got loads of room to turn this into a hole system if I had put the although the angles would have been less going that way if I put the hole in there, I've only got like a foot to play with once I've put the three to one and the jammer in. And you see loads of people struggling like that, which is why I've gone long on that side. And um, so now we're protected that way, protected that way, and we can bring people up quite easily. <laughs> 